David Parr was a working class decorative artist who lived during the Victorian period. His job was to decorate the interiors of grand houses and churches, painting the designs of famous designers like William Morris onto their walls. Over a period of about 40 years, in his free time, Parr painted a plethora of intricate patterns onto the walls of his own terraced house in Cambridge. Every room in this otherwise modest 19th century home is teeming with vibrant designs. Friezes, stained glass, gilded moulding, and decorative cornices. This biscuit is inspired by some of the designs that decorate the drawing room of the David Parr house. I'm using royal icing as my base and painting the patterns onto the surface using food colouring gels and vodka. The vodka is a thinning agent to get the colour to the right consistency. Parr mixed his own paint pigments and painted the designs by hand. The words you can see in the scroll across the top of the biscuit come from a Victorian homily. It reads, Every pulse beats life away. Thus our every heaving breath wafts us to certain death. Seize the moments as they fly, know to live, and learn to die. He who knows nothing, doubts nothing. These colourful lines that I'm adding between the two designs are based on the waist-high decorative moulding that can be found in the David Parr House drawing room. Similar hand-painted features, known as dado rails or picture rails, can be found in several other rooms in the house. The small moulded flowers decorating the design below the dado rail are called patteri. They stand away from the painted surface of the wall and are painted gold. A box of leftover patteri was recently found in a cupboard in the kitchen of the David Parr house. The house and its unique arts and crafts interiors can still be found at 186 Gwider Street in Cambridge, thanks to David Parr's granddaughter Elsie Palmer. Palmer lived in the house for more than 85 years, preserving her grandfather's work and leaving a legacy of her own. This biscuit set celebrates the rich history of this house, the people who lived in it, and the incredible craftsmanship of working class arts and crafts artists like David Parr.